Am I the asshole for changing my adoptive son's name and telling off his birth family? Names are changed for anonymity of course my husband and I took in his cousin Sue's newborn due to her and her partner John's addiction issues. It's not a decision I regret. This beautiful boy is the light of my life but it was a major life change for us. Especially me as I was the one who gave up my job and my social life to be basically locked up isolated during COVID with a baby. It was supposed to be temporary while they went to rehab. They never went to rehab nor complied with any of the safety plans set up by CPS. From two months on they have not seen the baby nor supported him in any way. John's family has not been involved either as they also refused to abide by the safety plan or any of the CPS recommendations. Now two years later my husband and I have full legal custody and CPS has closed the file. We have put forth a petition to change the baby's name. At birth John and Sue named the boy Stephen to honor, John's brother who died of an overdose, while partying with John and Sue who was pregnant and getting high, my husband and I have never ever referred to the baby by that name. We always called him Davy, his middle name, after Sue and my husband's grandfather. So instead of being Stephen David Jones we are changing it to David Owen Smith. Owen is after my father who absolutely adores him and accepted him as grandson from day one. So here's where I might have ventured to asshole. My husband thinks I went too far but I feel they pushed me to the end. John's family found out and blew up my social media and messaging. Not husbands just mine, telling me that I have no right to change the name or honor my father because I'm nothing more than a babysitter and I'm not the real mother. I was called a baby thief amongst more vile accusations. So I snapped and responded back that my son's names will honor good men that he could proudly emulate not like their junkie relative who was a shitstain on the world defrauding the government for benefits and stealing from anyone he could and contributed nothing to life or society and his only accomplishment is that he OD'd before he went to prison. Harsh. Yes. But I still don't feel like I'm the asshole. Edit for clarity I did not change the name on my own. My husband was very involved in the decision as were our two daughters who helped name their baby brother. The name reflects our cohesion as a family we are all Smiths. And my girls came up with the idea of using Pippi's name because it shows he wasn't just adopted by my husband and I but by an entire family. Not the asshole, he's your baby legally, physically, emotionally, all ways aside from DNA. There is no, baby sitting, he's never going back to them. Never. You are mom, period. Block them, ignore them, if you can move away from the area. They'll eventually give up, but it'll take an annoying amount of time. Doesn't sound like they'll ever get clean so it's only a matter of time before the scabbing starts. Not the asshole. His bio parents only care because it takes away the last bit of control they assumed they had. If you're doing everything for him and he's legally in your custody, you have the right to change his name. If they don't like it, they can get better and fight in the court. It's too late for any of that. Baby is legally adopted. Case closed. And that's a great thing. Holy shish tea, that was pretty wretched. I think your words were a bit over the top, no matter how true they probably are, but you just ignited the flame. Sometimes saying nothing speaks louder. Next time, and there will be one, show some grace and restraint, it pisses them off more anyway. Not the asshole, and if none of these family, members are in this child's life, they have zero input, and block them on your social media, all of them. Good luck. The problem with restraint is that it takes a certain character to appreciate it. Sometimes going hell for leather is all people understand. It sounds like original poster realized the people here belonged in that group. This was absolutely a case where the scorched earth policy was not only justified, but necessary, I'll show restraint all day long as long as it's effective, but the second someone tries to barge over that line the way these people did, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over ripping their feelings to shreds with some brutal honesty. Gentle everyone sucks here, they're speaking from a place of pain and shame. I'm glad the baby has you and your husband. But there is no need to speak like that of people suffering from addiction. They're already as low as you can get, so there is no need to punch down like that. You know the truth of the situation. So do they. They just can't admit it to themselves. Keep being a godsend to the little man. Block the ones hellbent on rewriting the narrative, and enjoy your family. Recovering addict with 15 years sober here and actually yes they do need to be spoken to that way, they haven't hit their bottom yet and do not, will not take help if it is offered with getting clean. At the point that these people are at anyone who is not speaking to them in a direct and blunt manner will be ignored outright. Original poster did not punch down in any way, shape, or form and in order for these people to hit bottom, they need more people talking to them the way original poster did. Edit. Changed a few words. 
I agree. If losing your baby isn't the rock bottom to motivate you to do better then a few harsh words isn't going to be the straw either. Not the asshole you are looking out for your son. These people have pushed you and instigated you. Could you have ignored them or used kinder words? Sure. But should you have? I'm gonna go with no. They needed a harsh dose of the truth. Block them on everything and keep David away from them. There's always a lot of people with something to say, but none of those people are ever stepping up, are they? Exactly. They have nothing to do with the baby and then all of a sudden she's a babe snatcher? No thank you. They deserve every harsh word she spat at them. I love how Op went from this motherly persona concerned for the baby's well-being to cutthroat. Not the asshole. Never mess with a parent looking out for their little one. Not the asshole. You didn't dishonor a dead person, good lord, people need to stop with the second-hand offendedness. If they cared more about the kid than their drugs, they could have named him whatever they wanted to and kept the name permanently. Not the asshole. I love how no one has cared about this child until you dared change his name, where have they been all this time? Too late now. Side note, how dare they call her, nothing more than a babysitter. She's his mother. She's been his mother every single day and every single night for years. His birth giver couldn't even try rehab once to spend time with him. Meanwhile, his mother has been soothing every cry, changing every diaper, making every meal not the asshole. I found that so ridiculous I didn't even bother to address it, but I guess the whole way they are acting is ridiculous. Not the asshole you are not a babysitter, you are Davy's parent. Everyone sucks here. You are the kid's parents now and the family have no business kicking off at you. It's not their call. However the way you talk about the late brother is revolting. Addiction is a disease. Would you be saying the same thing if he had killed himself due to depression? Coming from a family of addicts who I am zero contact with, I fully understand the anger and the need to remove the child from any trace of that life. But it's not an excuse to talk to horribly about their loved one who died due to his addictions. Yeah, she should never have engaged with them on a public platform. Someday, her kid is going to find out about how original poster, really, feels about his birth parents, and this may cause him to side with his bio family. Carrot, 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 this is the answer. Everyone in the comments section arguing about whether the bio parents or the dead namesake uncle, deserved, what was said or how it will affect them that's not the issue at all. The issue is that someday the son is going to grow up and find out about all this mess and seeing, hearing how his loving mom and dad talk to, about his bio parents is going to hurt him, a lot, and may hurt his relationship with original poster. I wish your comment was more visible. I'm shocked no one else seems to be commenting on this. Um. It's tough but I am gonna say not the asshole. Like, your words were harsh, but you didn't lie, and you didn't say them out of the blue, they said disgusting things to you first. I think that makes you a justified asshole, which means you are NTA. The baby hasn't ever gone by the name on paper, so changing his name legally makes total sense. Your kid is too young to choose their own name, so it's not like you could ask the baby what it wants its name to be. And I sincerely doubt they'll be confused by it since you've never called him his legal name. As far as he can tell, his name will never change. As an aside, sorry they said such things to you. You are not a baby thief or a glorified babysitter. You are a parent. What a fuck Reddit. Everyone sucks here. You would have been in the right if you hadn't said such a nasty thing about someone who succumbed to addiction. Addiction is a disease. You did not have to say such a despicable thing about someone who is no longer here to defend themselves. I would say she was provoked, used those words in the heat of the moment and that they were harsh but not untrue. I do understand that addiction is a disease, it's a terrible disease that hurts virtually everyone around the addict. Addicts bring a lot of people down with them. I don't think coddling or sugarcoating helps. She could have just called them names and left it at that. I agree she was provoked, but what a nasty thing to say about someone who didn't do anything to her, in this situation. The bio parents are the ones being awful, she should have kept her insults to them. She's not an asshole for wanting to change the name of her child, but she's an asshole for the things she said. Given that the pregnant relative was getting high while pregnant, which, thankfully sounds like it didn't affect the baby seriously, I'd have said the same things, honestly. It's hard enough when someone has an addiction, believe me, I know firsthand but to willingly cause harm to a growing fetus because of it, yeah, that's over the line. But again, this is the bio mum, not the uncle. Original poster should have kept the insults about the uncle out of it. Not the asshole. Imagine instead of thanking you and your husband for shouldering a responsibility you didn't create, the family instead wants to shame you. 
JFC, that kid has zero chance with those people. Bless you and your husband for stepping up and giving a kid a better chance at life. Name him whatever you want, you're the one he's bonding with, and bless your father for stepping up too. Just watch the anger, shit stain junkie, your kid will resent you for that later in life if you keep that up. Find your compassion and meet their hate with the love that drove you to stand up for that baby. Agreed. No shade on name change but caution over how original poster is handling their, understandable, anger. Not the asshole, fuck around and find out is my favorite thing to say. They fucked around and didn't listen to CPS and thought they could just do what they wanted while you did all the hard work and they could just step in one day and be mommy and daddy again. Well they found out that's not how it is and you two are that baby's parents and you name him as you please like other parents. Congrats on your little family and bless you for saving that baby. Fafo works well for so many situations. Not the asshole. They called you a babysitter. Nothing else needs to be said that your son changed the name, they're the a-hole do not talk to them again. In ta. They also called her a baby stealer. How terrible when no one else seemed to give one single fuck about that baby. Not ta for renaming your son. But everyone sucks here for the exchange you had with his family. They came after you in a very nasty way and they deserve to be put in place verbally. But I feel like you didn't only knock them out verbally, but kick them to the ground and then beat them to a pulp with a metal baseball bat and then set them on fire, metaphorically speaking. I understand why you did it. I understand why it was justified. But I also think it was too much and you could have navigated that situation more elegantly, i.e. By simply blocking them and not responding to their accusations instead of going down to their level and entertain that whole toxic conversation. Yep. Way to escalate a conflict into a blood feud, original poster. Not the asshole. Time to go and see with those people. Block them also. Everyone sucks here, them obviously more than you, but you didn't need to disparage someone who died in order to defend your choice. You don't know the struggles that this person went through or why they made the choice they did. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter what John's family thinks. You disparaging the person who OD'd is bringing you down to their level and needlessly stirring up more drama. Understandable that what they said made you furious, but you aren't entirely in the right. I would just block these people and try to move on with your life with your husband and son. Not the asshole, you are the baby's parents, you name the baby. As simple as that. Here's the thing with social media you can block and never speak to those people again. You do not have to defend yourself to them and doing so is probably worse, that's what they want people like that love the drama. Block them, enjoy your baby boy and move on with your life. Not the asshole.